Territorial.io is a real-time strategy online game. You can play multiplayer or single player. In the game, you face other players or bots depending on your game mode. The objective is to gain full control of the map. Oftentimes though, the game will end when you gain control over about 99% of the map. There are 15 preset maps, 5 of which are real world maps. These are Europe, the world, Caucasia, the 48 contiguous United States, and the Middle East. However, you can also create custom maps. This video will focus on how to do so. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to mapchart.net. So I'm not sponsored by mapchart.net, but it allows you to make custom maps and I enjoy using it. So for this example, I'm going to make a map of Asia. So we're going to go to the Asia dropdown and click on countries to get a map of Asian countries. So now we have this map, right? So we're going to go into advanced, change the border width for each country to thicker, and I'm going to set the default color to white so that they're automatically white. Um, and then other adjustments I can make, but I won't, are border color and um, the background, which alters the like ocean color. So now that I have this map, I'm going to go to download and it will download up here. So now that we have our map of Asia, what we want to do is we want to open it, open an editing software. I use paint.net and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, oh, whoops, one sec. I'm going with better dimensions. And so now I'm going to open my file and place it here. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to select what I want. And I'm going to go over here to crop to selection and crop it like so. And I have to keep limiting it so that I get to 4096 by 4096. So right now I think I just have to limit it on the right hand side. So I'm going to cut off part of some stuff like part of Russia I'm going to cut off. Okay, let's, let's now let's, let's do it like this. And if we make this our selection, let's see is this 4096. Uh, I think this is good. Yeah, I think this is good. So now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to make all of the C blue. So I'm going to use the fill tool. I'm going to just, even if it's like not C, but it's not like part of the map, I'm going to make it blue, like this landmass, the landmass over here is not part of Asia, but it's also not C, it's like Europe, so I'm going to make it blue, and now I have this, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make all the borders blue. So the reason I'm making all the borders blue is so that um it keeps the borders there when I make the territorial IO map, so that... You, the borders are still there, but you don't like. So you can still have the borders, but you don't have like black lines because then you won't be able to cross those lines, I don't think. So I just need to transform all of the borders. You know what I can do? I can use the recolor tool, make it its largest size that it can be. Find a black pixel, okay. Okay, and I'm just gonna get all of the, okay, and get all of the borders. 
Okay, I think that's all of it. Oh, wait, no, up here too. And now I'm just going to check over here and I think we have all of it. So the next step is going to be to choose a color for the land. And I have a little palette that I'm going to choose from over here in the color section. So if I go here, I have a map making palette. And I think I will choose this color for my land. And I'm just going to get all of the land to be that color. And now that um, I've colored in all of the land, I'm going to size down my brush and go into paintbrush mode with my C color. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate some of these small islands. Oops. So I just want to make sure I have the same color. Can eliminate all of these little islands and stuff. I'm gonna keep like Sri Lanka and other islands like that, but I'm gonna like eliminate a bunch of like really tiny islands because it just makes it harder to play the game when you like have like island hopping. So I just need to. Oh, okay, there's a lot of them by Russia. So yeah, I'm basically eliminating all of these tiny islands. It just makes it much more difficult to like play the game. And I'll keep that large, larger island. Here's one that I would probably want to get rid of. Right here and right here. Okay, and I'm going to just eliminate all the tiny little islands. Also, this area over here should be blue. But it got colored brown instead. So I want to make sure that that's blue. Here's where there's a lot of small islands. Probably gonna make my brush size a little bigger, so I'll do 50. And I'll just get rid of this tinier part. So this looks pretty good. Just need to get rid of a few more islands. And I think that's good. So now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to do Control Shift S so I can save it. And this will be Territorial IO Custom Asia Map. So now I just need to click OK because saving okay so now that we have this this map it's time to upload it to territorial io okay so now that we have our map we can go to territorial io and go to single player and then the next thing we're going to want to do is open our file explorer and then we just need to find our map so i'll go into downloads here we go, and we're just going to drag it and drop it, and you see here it shows up. And so yeah, that's basically how you make the custom territorial IO map. You get a map, then you change the coloring, and then finally what you do is you upload it to territorial IO. So, as you can see, you can upload your maps to Territorial IO and play them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Linked in the description is the map chart website. Once again, I'm not sponsored by a map chart. Thank you and have a great day.